So you've got profit in your business. Awesome. That's what we want, right? We want profit. But what do you use that profit for? And how do you know how much profit there should be in order for you to accomplish your goals? That's what we're going to get into in this video. I hope this is helpful to you. Please remember to put any comments or questions in the comment section below, and I will try to get to as many of those as I possibly can. Welcome back to the Clara CFO group channel. Remember that this channel is all about helping you succeed financially in your small business. And what we're going to talk about today is profit. So profit is if just brief, Brief reminder, revenue minus expenses, everything that you, that's revenue is everything you take in in your business, all the cash. And if you're on a cash basis or all of the um, money that you've earned, if you're on a accrual basis, minus the expenses equals profit. So money in minus money out equals your profit. What's left over at the end of the day. Okay. Now you can tell your profit. Mostly if you have an accounting system, it's very easy to run a profit and loss statement also called an income statement. So a profit and loss statement will show you down at the bottom exactly what your profit is for a month, a year, whatever the time frame is that you want to look at. Now you might be wondering, okay, there's a number there. Yay. It's positive. Better. <laughs> we want that number to be positive. That means that you have made money in the business. What can you use that profit for? Or what should it be used for? Because here's the thing, you guys, when you go to plan for your business, when you're planning or budgeting or whatever, you need to have a target profit. Sometimes people don't target profit, they target revenue or they target other things and they forget about profit. It's kind of the fallout. They're hoping it'll be enough at the end of the day. But largely most of the time it's not. So we really need to think about what does profit need to do for us? So I'm going to help you with five things that your profit needs to do for you. Okay. So number one, the first thing that your profit needs to do for you is it needs to be able to pay taxes. Now, this is one of those things. If, if you have a large profit, you pay large taxes. If you have zero profit or, or little profit, you pay little taxes. Obviously, if you have zero profit, you don't pay taxes. And I mean, lots of nuances to that, of course. And you could have a large profit and do some tax planning to get that down for tax purposes. But if you are showing a profit, if that number is positive, that means you have to have have a tax consideration. So work with your CPA, always make sure that you are planning for paying taxes. Now, I usually recommend for my clients to save somewhere between 20 and 25% of their profit into a tax savings account so that they can pay their estimated taxes during the year and kind of be sort of planning for that. So if they have maybe one month that's at a loss, they kind of even out throughout the year and we do that kind of on an, on an ongoing basis. Now you can work with your CPA and give them uh, work with them so that they can tell you kind of what they think you should be saving for throughout the year or what they think you should be planning for and even what that percentage expectation should be because just looking at your business alone might not take into account if you have maybe somebody another earner in the family or if you have other businesses or maybe you have properties or something that are offsetting some of the gains of your business or the profits of your business with other you know potential like tax strategies so you know talk to your cpa about that but profit does need to pay your taxes. Okay. The other thing that the, I guess kind of the second most important thing that most small business owners are using profit for is to pay themselves. So if you are a sole proprietor, you aren't paying yourself on payroll. You are paying yourself by the profits of the business. Whatever's left over, you take an owner's draw that owner's draw or shareholder's draw, whatever you call it, shareholder's distribution, which you'll call it a shareholder's distribution if you're an S corp or a corporation, that owner's draw, we just kind of call it, that's all encompassing. If an owner is taking a draw from the profits of the business, that means you have to have profit there to do that. If you are, you know, estimating that you need $5,000 of a month, uh, a month from your business, then you need to be making at least 5,000, but then remember, you're not taking into account any of that tax portion. So you need to be thinking probably closer to six or $7,000 in a month in order to pay taxes and take home your $5,000. Okay. So this is the type of thing we need to think about, like, what should we be shooting for when it comes to profit? Okay. So if you need to cover taxes and you need to cover owner's pay, what other things do we need to think about? Now, the third thing I want to say is that your profit is 
the extra that you can reinvest back into your business. So this, this category is very broad. This could be all sorts of reinvestments. It could be hiring new employees. It could be um, buying equipment and using it in your business. You could be buying additional inventory, working on marketing. Um, it could be, it could be lots of different things. So this reinvestment back into your business is where that is is what that profit needs to do for you because where else is your money coming from now i would say if you are getting a loan and using cash to use it for that kind of things that's sitting on the balance sheet so that's actually outside of what shows up on your profit and loss statement so if you got a loan to like maybe pay for marketing or hire new employees or things like that that's sitting on the balance sheet and maybe you're using that to invest into your business um, but i'm talking about from the cash flow and the operations of your business on a month to month basis, you're going to be looking at the profit and loss and that profit at the end of the day is what we're talking about. And that's what needs to be working for you. Okay. Or you need to think strategically about that profit. Okay. Reinvesting into the business. The fourth thing I want to mention to you is that profit is what you use to pay off your debt. Think about this more, especially if you are a cash basis business, you have to make extra money to pay off your loans. Because when you go to pay off your loans, that doesn't show up anywhere. That's not that's not a deduction in your taxes. That's not an expense. The interest portion is, but the actual principal to pay off that loan, that has to come from extra cash flow made in your business. And that extra cash flow usually shows up in the form of profit. But um, so you have to make enough profit to be able to pay off past debts. So now we've just, so going back to my scenario of if you want to have $5,000 extra every month to take home as an owner, you now have to, like, this is ballooning up because we've got maybe, you know, a thousand to $1,500 of taxes. So now we're at 6,500 and then maybe you have, you want to reinvest some money into the business. That might be another $2,000 a month. Okay, now we're at 8,500. Now you also have debt that you need to be repaying and you have a goal of paying $1,000 a month in your debt. Now you're at $9,500 of profit that you need to achieve your goals. So you guys, this is something that we need to think about every single month as we're thinking about planning our businesses and thinking about what we need to do to reach our goals. So paying off debt. The last thing that you need to use your profit for is for savings. Now we've covered taxes, we've covered owner's pay, we've covered... Um, reinvesting into the business, which reinvesting could look like savings as well. I mean, they're like kind of mm, paying off long-term debt or short-term debt. And then the last thing is saving. So let's just say you have a savings goal of you want to say take three to six months and put it away into for future operations or whatever. Um, you need to be creating profit in order to be able to reach those savings goals. So I, I know that that seems like, okay, now we've got maybe like, maybe you need $12,000 a month in order to achieve the goals that you have and still pay yourself the amount that you want. But what oftentimes happens is that the owner tries to pay themselves what they want and then um, they can't achieve their other goals. And largely what why that is, is because they haven't planned for the profit they truly, really need. We're going to get into more videos on helping you achieve your profit goals, helping you plan and how do you plan for profitability in a small business. Um, but I wanted to bring that up to you guys because first look and see what you have. Why do you feel like there's not enough? Why do you feel like you're not achieving um, what you really want to achieve? I know a lot of us wish that our savings was higher or wish that we could pay ourselves more or wish that we didn't scramble when it came to tax time. That's what I want to do is try to help you guys be more prepared for when that time comes. All right, so if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And I want to keep doing these videos for you guys to help you in your small business. Please also give any comments in the comment section below. If you think of anything else, you know, that profit needs to be used for, I'm sure I've missed something, <laughs> but those are the kind of five big categories that I wanted to mention to you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys being here and I will talk to you soon.